So I finished my challenge that what which was reading 10 books in 10 weeks. Um, well, I'm just going to review that whole process you know, of those 10 books uh, of that challenge and also I'll be ranking these books and uh, near the end of the video I'll be talking about what's next, what's coming up, what I've been reading, you know, after these uh, 10 books because to be honest I read these 10 books in 8 weeks or something so I finished like two weeks ago and um, yeah because that wasn't really the challenge you know challenge was not really reading these 10 books it was actually really easy to do uh, the real challenge was making those videos having stuff to say in these videos knowing what to say um, editing the videos you know everything I didn't know anything about video creation prior to that uh, so it was just you know learning every everything like how to edit video lightning uh, how to edit video also there was all the video concepts you know lightning sound uh, just re image ratio uh, and so on you know camera settings and all these different things it might seem easy when you see people you know doing video stuff but it's actually pretty hard <laughs> I've you know I've learned that the hard way actually uh, so that was kind of the hardest part of the all the challenge was just the video part not really the reading part of it uh, I'm definitely going to do another challenge later on uh, just because it's you know intense learning I'm learning a lot and I need I think that making other videos like I just did is going to you know help me get better at video editing what I'm doing right now also uh, just camera settings and all of that um, and book reviews and stuff like this so uh, I'm gonna get better at it I don't know if the other challenge is going to still be reviews or if I'm just gonna be talking about the books I'm reading uh, I still don't know, you know, where that's gonna go, where I'm going with that, but, you know, we'll experiment, I guess. Uh, so that's it for the review part of how I, how everything went. And uh, now I'm going to rank the 10 books that I've just read, actually. Not just read, but that I read two weeks ago, because I, I read like two other books in the meantime and I'm reading like uh, another book right now I'll be talking about those near the end of the video though so uh, at number 10 my least favorite book of the bunch is uh, Satan's Harvest I really did not enjoy myself reading that book uh, if it that's the only downside of the whole challenge if not for that challenge I wouldn't have finished that book it's just yeah I really hated it I hated every moment of the book so there you go number 10 Satan's Harvest is still you know definite thumbs up uh, you'll see some of my ratings going to change for some of these books mainly the ones that are near the 10th position you know all the others that are thumbs up are going to mainly stick thumbs up uh, but there are some you know position 7 8 9 and 10 might change a little bit at number 9 we have experimental film uh, once again that book I've not enjoyed that much because it's uneven there are some change change in tonal there's a change in tonality halfway through the book uh, I rated it like mid thumb I think I'm more towards the down thumb I'm sorry just because it's so uneven uh, no I'm not thumbs down yeah I'm gonna keep middle thumb just because there are some stuff in there that I enjoyed I really enjoyed the first half of the book second half was just you know oh I need in my mind it's just that the author needed to finish the book and she's just 
putting everything there on the pages and just finishing up the book or whatever. But I'm still interested to see more from that author uh, just because I think that the first part was that good. And, you know, if she's able to write a story where it's more even, where the tonality is the same, I might enjoy it, actually. And number eight, we have The Turn of the Screw. I'm going to keep that book a middle thumb. It just not for me. It was too vague. I didn't fully get it, to be honest. It might just be me, but uh, yeah, I'm not. I might need to reread that book again, reread that book, but I don't want to do it because I'm, yeah, I'm, it was okay, but there was some part in that book that I liked, that I enjoyed, but for the, you know, if we're talking just about the book, I've, yeah, not really my cup of tea. And then at number seven, I think that was a thumbs up. Uh, so the yeah, Amityville Horror, I'm going to put it middle thumb. Um, once again, it's I've only read two true horror horror story based on true events. Um, none of these books were. I didn't really enjoy these books to be honest. I'm more interested in the true crime aspect of Amityville Horror. I really like true crimes. Uh, and I think that's this is where I need to go. Maybe learn more about the DeFeos than the Lutzes. I'm more interested in the DeFeos, as I said. You know, what really happened that night? You know, what? How could Runny kill everybody and nobody heard anything and stuff like that? I'm more interested into that part of the story than the Lutzes. I think the Lutzes just wanted to do a quick, quick cash grab or whatever. Uh, because they couldn't afford that house or whatever and they just, you know, decided to use that story. But I digress. So I made a real horror, middle thumb. was still good, but I'm just not into that type of horror, I guess. At number six, we have Maynard's House. I really enjoyed that book. Definite thumbs up again. You know, go read that book. Uh, why it's not higher on the list just because the other ones are just so good actually because that book was really great i mean if you're interested in horror um, go read it if you're interested in like i don't want to say gothic horror but it's in a way it is because of the house but it's not a mansion it's not a but it's a it's not a decrepit house but kind of it's a cabin so yeah i really enjoyed that book actually it's definite read go read it a definite thumbs up again at number five we have legion of sleepy hollow really enjoyed that book what can we say more about that uh, that being said i liked the movie adaptation better i think this is a rare occasion where the movie adaptation is better than the book it doesn't happen a lot, but it happens sometimes. But yeah, Legion of Sleepy Hollow, definite read. Go read that book, definite thumbs up again. At number four, we have The Search for Joseph Tully. That book could be higher on that list, if only for the ending. That's the only reason why it's not like on the podium, you know, the, the top three books uh, was just because of the ending. I mean, I really liked the book. I like the plot twist at the end, like the big reveal of the story. I didn't see it coming because I was so invested in the book. I was just reading it without thinking, you know, where this is going or whatever. I was just really involved in the book. I really liked it. Uh, I just feel like the end was a bit rushed. So if the, the ending was a bit more developed, would have made that much difference and maybe made that book like a masterpiece or something like this. It's still very good, a great book, near masterpiece in my mind, but not actually it, just because of the end, as I said. Uh, then at number three, we have The Fog. This is just 
great story. <laughs> I mean, it's just... It succeeded where Turn of the Screw failed, in my mind. Uh, where Turn of the Screw was too vague here, the fog is just vague enough. He's giving us just the right amount of information, so we don't... He's not revealing too much, he's revealing just enough for us to complete the picture in our mind, and that's very good actually as i said in the video it's a master class on writing in my mind that's how you write great horror is just uh, showing just the right amount of information this is how you write gore in my mind letting the imagination of the reader do the trick and not taking the the reader by the hand but showing just the right amount of information definitely thumbs up again you know the fog Go read it. It's just... If you're interested in sci-fi horror, I would go with The Fog. Uh, I would read The Fog because it goes into that... Yeah, sci-fi kind of thing. A natural disaster also type of story. So, cannot go wrong with that book. Then at number two, we have Who Goes There? Just... It's the original material to the thing. I was wondering if the book would be as good as the movie. It is, it is, but it's not really at the same time. But it's, you know, close to, really close to it. Uh, that being said, maybe if I read the 40 pages longer version, maybe, you know, it would have made that difference and be toe-to-toe -to -toe with the movie. Uh, so that being said, I'll need to read that story again and maybe read, and not maybe, but definitely read the longer version. And, you know, if it were, if I was to do it again, I would definitely, if I known that there was a longer version out there, I would have picked that longer version without a doubt, just because it, yeah, it's really good. And, you know, the longer... The only downside of that book was that it was too short. It ended quite too fast in my mind. Staying a bit longer with that story. I wouldn't mind staying a bit longer with that story. Uh, so yeah, I'm definitely going to read the 40 pages longer version. For sure. And at number one, we have Burnt Offerings. This is a masterpiece. Uh, and by the way, who goes there also... Definite masterpiece, go read that. If you're into sci-fi horror, go read Who Goes There. Burnt Offerings, it's quite the contrary. It's a classic gothic horror book. It's amazing. I don't know why I've never read that book before. I'm really into gothic horror, just so you guys know, like Haunted Mansions and Decrepit, Decrepit Hold the House. And everything I want to do like I'm interested in um, urban exploring so people that go out there and explore abandoned house I'm really into it I want to do that sometime maybe not filming it but I definitely want to go out there into a haunted house and just you know visit or whatever I'm very interested in that like and all the memory that could live inside a house or whatever. I'm well into that. And that's something that's said in the search for Joseph Tully. Also, you know, when the buildings get demolished and everything. Like how the spirit of the people that live there is still there. Even if they're not dead, you know, you leave a trace in the building or whatever. I'm really into that. Uh, Burnt offerings is that, you know, times one million it's just a great story the mother figure in it it's just so good uh, the more i'm thinking about burnt offerings the more i feel like the end is like a rebirth of some some kind it i know it, like, it's death and everything but it also kind of rebirth and birthing and that's where the mother figure comes more into action in my mind with the whole birthing uh, team within the book 
Uh, that's it for my ranking. Uh, I just want to talk about, you know, what's up, what I've been doing for the last uh, two weeks. Uh, firstly, just so to uh, take my mind off of uh, all the books I've read, I decided to read something different. Actually, uh, it's kind of an essay, what I've read. Uh, it's Quand viendra l'aube by Dominique Forti. So it's a French, she's a French Canadian author. And uh, yeah, I wanted to read a French book just to change my mind from all these English books and something different than horror, actually. Um, it's still kind of haunting because she's talking about the death of her father. Uh, it's kind of, a, I don't know, autobiography, but essay, not necessarily essay, but memoir kind of things, memoir kind of things. It was just really good. She's, uh, so yeah, in English, Kavien Ralob is like a, when the dawn comes. Dawn, 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 dawn. Uh, when the dawn comes, sorry about that. Uh, so yeah, she's having all these thoughts, you know, uh, when she wakes up and she's just writing all her thoughts uh, down. And that's just a collection of thoughts essentially, that she had um, just minutes before dawn and stuff like that. Very enjoyed it. Uh, it talks about grief, uh, being haunted by your relative or something like that. Not really haunted in a scary way, but more like a presence that you're feeling close to you type of deal. Really enjoyed that. Um, I thought it would be sadder it's not that sad of a book. It was really good, actually. Uh, and then I read a sci-fi book. Uh, so in the future, I don't know when I'm going to be talking about all the books I read this year. Uh, I've read a lot of sci-fi things this year. Uh, something that I didn't really do before. Uh, but yeah, I'm interested in the classic sci-fi books for now. Uh, so I read The Stars My Destination by Alfred Bester. God, that was good. Uh, I'll review that book actually in my next video. I don't know when that video is going to come. Uh, maybe next week or in two weeks. I'm not sure when that's going to come. Uh, just so you guys know from now on, uh, I'm going to be posting video every other week. Uh, it's just that for the first video of that every other week type of videos. I just don't know if it's going to come next week or in two weeks. Uh, I'm still debating on that, but I'm going to talk about that book though in the next video. And for now what I'm reading also, I'm reading Dune. This is the first book. I'm, um, I'm at fourth of the book, fourth-ish. Yeah, 800 pages. I'm like around pages 200. So I've read the fourth of the book for now. Um, if I am, I don't know if I'll be reading the entire series. Uh, if so, I'll be reviewing the entire series. Uh, not reviewing, but talking a lot about Dune <laughs> in the months to come. Uh, because I think I'm going to, you know, keep uh, my slow pace on reading that, uh, these Dune books, actually. Um... So yeah, I'm definitely going to do another challenge. Uh, once again, it's not really challenging to read these books. It's more, call it an exploration. Like I'm going to read books that otherwise I might not read or finish or whatever, but I want to finish these books. Uh, and if I don't like a book, even if it's within a challenge, I might just stop reading and just tell you guys right away that I don't like that book and I've not finished it just because I don't want to spend too much time on a book that I don't like. Uh, I almost picked all the 10 books for my next challenge. I just don't know when that challenge is going to come. Maybe Jan I was planning on January. Uh, I might start a new job on January though, so that might not be a good timing. Uh, so January or February, 
I'm thinking uh, start of next year, I'll be doing these 10 books. Uh, I had 10 books laid out. Uh, it's just I have two books that I'm not sure if I'll be reading them. Um, but yeah, I already have the list. Um, as soon as I have the list, I'll be, you know, talking about that in my videos, actually. Uh, but that's it for me, guys. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.